So again, I've um, you know reached the point now where I feel good about this. This is certainly a, a photo that I could export and post online or potentially even sell. Um, but there's some other things you can do if you want to make some different kinds of changes to your food photos. Um, so again, this would probably be more for a creative um, use if you're going to be you know using this on your blog um, or on social media and that kind of thing. So one thing that we can do is we can add a bit of a vignette to the image. And the way that we're going to do that is um, scroll down in um, the different panels here. And we're going to go to this post crop vignetting setting here. And um, we're going to take this amount and we're going to drag it down. So this is going to add a vignette around the side. And you can see um, this is going to create almost like a dark you know, circle effect around the image. And it really bumps up the drama of this image. It really serves to, to highlight uh, those bright parts in the middle of the image here. Um, I can also do a vignette that's in a white color by going outwards. It kind of gives it like a storybook type feel. This is a nice look for a blog post if you want to really just highlight the food. And also, because the outer parts here are going to be white, it blends into your blog better if you have a white background. Um, so these are things you can do, again, if you want to really, you know, kind of make these really dramatic changes to the image. Um, and vignetting is kind of a nice way to, uh, to do that. So consider that, again, um, if you're not using it for editorial purposes, I never apply a vignette to a photo that would be published in a magazine or newspaper or anything because it wasn't there in the original scene. Um, it's too much editing and, uh, and not something you could easily do basic tweaks in a professional darkroom. Um, you can add a vignette in a darkroom, but uh, it's really getting into that more creative changing the, uh, the composition of the photo. So um, again, if you're using this for more of your own use or blog or social media, um, this can be a cool effect to add in. Just go to post crop vignetting under the effects tab, drag that slider around. Um, one other useful note in Lightroom, if you want to reset the position of a slider at any point, just double click on it, it'll bounce back to its original uh, position. So I can play with this, I can say, wow, that's a really dramatic vignette I've got on there. Yeah, double click, get rid of it, go back to where I was. So you can always reverse course if you want to. Um, definitely good to know that. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is uh, you can bring it into monochrome. So this uh, doesn't really lend itself, I think, to monochrome. Um, but if I want to switch, I can say for treatment here, color or black and white. Um, so I can move into uh, to black and white there. Um, again, I think we lose a lot in this one, but a lot of photos will look great in black and white, even some food photos. If there's a lot of contrast, a lot of texture, um, especially you know natural objects, like if you're photographing a piece of fruit um, or something that's got a lot of that natural texture to it, then black and white can look really beautiful. Um, we can also look at the presets over here. So if I want to go to monochrome and I want to have something that has maybe a little bit of a different look, I can just mouse over any of these presets and you can see different changes to the image. I mean, this looks kind of cool, adds a lot more contrast. Um, we can also go in and, uh, and make some, um, you know, use these and apply. There is a food section in here. So if you want to skip all of the, uh, the, the work of editing, this manually you can go in, or if you want a particular look, I mean, this creates kind of a cool um, aesthetic where we've got more of a sort of undersaturated look, uh, pastel-y types of colors in there. You can choose these presets, you can go in and apply these. Again, um, not something I would ever do, ever, ever, if I was gonna use this in a magazine or newspaper or any kind of editorial use, but uh, if you have a blog that has a particular aesthetic, some of these are almost like filters you would find in Instagram. They can create a particular look to your image. So go in, take a look, uh, experiment with some of these, especially you know, experiment with uh, potentially going to monochrome on some of your images. Um, and you can make those sort of deeper, more intensive tweaks if you want to do that. Lightroom, again, has some great pre presets there and supports all of those kinds of things.